What is going on, everybody? I hope everyone is well out there during this crazy, crazy time on this planet. But I wanted to reach out to you guys and um, just talk to you guys for a little bit. So something different on this video. And I've been struggling if I wanted to do it and I wanted to do it, you know, going back and forth. I started it, stopped it, started it, stopped it. You know, I tried to have like an idea of like a, like a, a mini script of what I wanted to say. But I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna just let it fly and just let it out because this is gonna be one of many, many videos that I will be putting out and this is kind of my way of my therapy. But you know, this is a, a workout channel, so to speak, you know, it's a fitness page, fitness YouTube channel. But, you know, there's always like a reason, it was like a fuel behind why I trained so hard. And, you know, I talked about in other videos that it was, uh, it was my therapy. And even more so now, it's definitely become my therapy because over the weekend, you know, my mother passed away and, you know, she was battling um, something pretty severe. She's battling cancer. And, you know, I've witnessed, you know, I had to witness essentially her deterioration uh, over the course of time. And it was pretty rapid. And, you know, I don't wish that pain on anybody. I don't wish that suffering on anybody. And it definitely, you know, affected me, affected me, you know, badly. And, it, you know, it's going to continue to affect me for quite some time. And I don't know if I'll ever be normal, uh, so to speak. But I just know going through that whole process and I'm like, wow, I would not have been able to understand what if someone else was going through that unless I went through it because the amount of emotions and feelings and you go through this roller coaster of so many different thoughts and you know ups and downs that for me I can't even put it into words but I wanted to excuse me I wanted to put this out because hopefully and maybe I can reach and just touch other people who are going through or have gone through similar things and they may need just somebody to relate to or you know, talk to or, or be able to connect with. Because for me, I don't want to go to therapy and this and that. And, you know, trust me, it's something that I'm, I'm thinking about it. Honestly, let me take that back. You know, maybe something that I still would want to consider. But the reason why I don't want to go, because unless you've been through something like this, I don't think you can truly relate to me um, or anyone else who's gone through it. If you have not been through something as tragic as this, I really don't want to hear it. And that's just where I'm at now in my grieving, grieving process. So I, I felt, you know what, let me just put out videos to express how I'm feeling, what I'm going through, what I'm dealing with. And, you know, if there's someone out there who's going through the same thing, or you know someone who's going through the same thing, and they're not really communicating or wanting to talk about it, you know, maybe this could be a way just to connect um, to other people who are in the situation because it affects so many different people who are a part of it. It affects the one who's passing. It affects the loved ones, it affects the person who's closest to them. And then it affects the people around those people. You know, it affects, I know for me, I have to, you know, I found myself being very, you know, just, just angry at a lot of people. And some people, they didn't deserve it. They didn't deserve, you know, for me to lash out on them, you know, lash out at them. But it was a situation of, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to feel. I didn't know how to express myself. And little things can just trigger me to blow up, you know, through all of this. I mean, to really witness your mother just suffer and towards the, the end point, really, really suffering. Every day she's getting worse and worse and worse. It's just such an indescribable feeling. And then to have someone come up to you and say, hey, how are you doing? It's like of all questions, of all, all ways to, of so many ways to ask that you want to ask, how, how am I doing? You know, and I don't want to curse on this, on this video, but can you imagine what, you know, I, I would say to that person, what I've, I have said to that person? You know, to, to ask me, how am I doing after I just lost my mother to cancer, pancreatic cancer at that. So I'm going through so many different 
feelings, emotions, you know, it's the anger, sad, you know, I'm grieving, I'm hurting, I'm crying. I feel like a piece of me have, you know, has been taken away. But I also know there's a lot of other people who are going through this and I don't know how they're handling it and they may be handling it worse than I am. You know, I was lucky enough and blessed enough that I do have a support group that, you know, I, they could put their arms around and I could put my arms around them. But I sometimes, you know, through this whole experience, I was thinking, what about those who don't necessarily have the biggest support group? Or even if they do, they just don't even know how to connect because that was another thing that I was going through. I would just close up. I wouldn't think about it. I didn't want to talk to anyone. Leave me alone. People are calling me. And I'm still like that now. You know, this happened recently where I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't want, don't ask me what's going on. Don't ask me for updates. Don't ask me for anything because I don't want to, it's already taking its toll on me. It's all, it's already on my mind 24 seven. And then now to say, Hey, well, this is what I'm planning on doing with my deceased mother. I don't want to do that right now. And on the flip side, yes, I understand, you know, there are those who cannot be here, especially with the shutdown was another thing that family wasn't able to come out. People aren't able to move around. So yes, I understand they do want updates. I get it, I get it, I get it. They wanna know what's going on. They wanna be included. And I have to be mindful of that. I have to remember that, but it's just tough. It's just tough to go through this. And then I have to get on the phone with someone that I've probably have not spoken to in years, whether it's a family member or just a friend of the family. And then now I have to explain, hey, this is what happened and this is how she passed away. And I don't want to do that right now, you know, because I know and it's already happened. I get on the phone with them and then I start cursing them out. I start lashing out. It's like you're asking me now what happened and what can I do? Well, you knew she wasn't doing well. You knew she was sick all this time and she's never mentioned you called calling to check on her. So what where, why are you coming now so it's just going through all these things and i plan to do multiple videos like this and just you know what's the process like of just going through so many different feelings and emotions and even some steps that i've been taking to cope and to grieve and there's no right or wrong way i don't think it's you know I just have to be as strong as possible right now. But I plan to release more of these videos. Um, like I said, I know it's a little bit different than uh, what I usually put out, but I just wanna be able to hopefully reach, if it's just one person who might be going through something like this, hopefully I can reach that person and connect with them and to inspire them to just keep going. Because I also know there's other dark thoughts that come in, into your mind and I want to just try to prevent those as well. So I just want, you know, to reach out and just hopefully just inspire and connect with someone and say, look, I, I understand as well. And this is going to be horrific. You know, this is going to be, we will never be the same. We'll never be normal, but you don't have to go through this alone and, and you're not alone in all of this. And I've just been compelled to just put these out. I, I don't know. I don't care if how many likes and what view, all that is really irrelevant to me because, you know, for me also, this is my therapy. This is a therapy session for me. And I plan to do this. You know, I feel like I need to do this. I have to do this. So this is therapeutic for me as well. And I hope it can um, be of some value to some of you out there. So definitely uh, I, I appreciate you taking a look at the video. Um, it's about resilience, you know, strength, you know, way more fit, you know, more than just physical strength. You know, it's going to be a lot of those things that we have to keep, keep pushing and pushing. So I plan to release more. I don't know when the next video is going to come out, but I just want to just, you know, just take this journey with me. And I want this to just be out there. So Thank you for watching, guys. More videos will be coming, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.